Every year, the world spends $90 billion fighting rust. Bridges collapse, parking garages crumble, entire buildings become death traps. But what if I told you there's a material that's twice as strong as steel, four times lighter, and literally cannot rust? The construction industry has been hiding this secret for decades. But now it's about to change everything. This isn't science fiction. This is the $2 billion revolution that's happening right now, and most people have no idea it exists. The Problem Right now, as you're watching this video, thousands of bridges are literally eating themselves alive from the inside out. Here's what's happening. Water seeps through microscopic cracks in concrete. It reaches the steel rebar inside. The steel starts to rust. But here's the killer. Rust expands. It's like a tiny bomb going off in slow motion, tearing the concrete apart from within. The American Society of Civil Engineers estimates that fixing our crumbling infrastructure will cost $2.6 trillion. That's trillion with a T. But what if the solution isn't fixing the old system? What if it's completely replacing it? Today, I'm taking you inside the most advanced manufacturing facilities in the world to show you how engineers are creating a material that could make steel rebar obsolete. The shocking revelation. But here's what's going to blow your mind. This revolutionary material starts with something so fragile, you could break it with your bare hands. These glass fibers are five times thinner than human hair. They look like they'd snap if you breathed on them wrong. But inside this $500 million facility, something incredible happens. These fragile threads are transformed into bars that can support the weight of a 50-story skyscraper. The process is so precise, so perfectly engineered, that a single mistake could destroy millions of dollars worth of equipment. And it all starts in a place you'd never expect. The Mining Operation Deep in the earth, in mines that stretch for miles, engineers are hunting for something specific. Not just any sand, but silica sand so pure, it's 99.9% .9 perfect. This isn't beach sand. This isn't desert sand. This is industrial-grade silica that's been buried for millions of years, waiting for this moment. To get to it, they have to use controlled explosions powerful enough to shatter solid rock. Each blast is calculated to the millisecond. Too much force, and they destroy the very material they're trying to extract. These trucks can carry 400 tons in a single load. That's the weight of 200 cars. But even after all this mining, they're still not ready to make glass. The sand goes through a washing process so intense, it can clean 220 tons per hour. Every grain is scrubbed, sorted, and purified until it reaches a level of cleanliness that would make a hospital operating room look dirty. The Furnace of Transformation Now comes the moment of truth. This furnace burns at 2,900 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot enough to melt copper, hot enough to vaporize aluminum, hot enough to turn sand into liquid glass. But here's where it gets insane. This molten glass, flowing like lava, has to be turned into fibers thinner than spider silk. This is a platinum bushing. It costs more than a luxury car. And it's drilled with thousands of holes so small, you need a microscope to see them. As the molten glass flows through these holes, gravity and mechanical force stretch it into thousands of individual fibers. Each one is being pulled at exactly the right speed, at exactly the right temperature. The workers here are wearing gear that looks like they're handling radioactive material. Because one mistake, one contamination, one fiber that breaks, and the entire batch is ruined. This process never stops. 365 days a year, 24 hours a day. Because if it stops, the glass solidifies and destroys millions of dollars worth of equipment. The assembly line. Welcome to what looks like the world's most expensive library. 
But these aren't books. These are spools containing millions of glass fibers, each one stronger than steel wire of the same thickness. Watch this. Thousands of individual fibers are being gathered into a single bundle. It's like taking a thousand spider webs and weaving them into a rope. But glass alone isn't enough. This is where the magic happens. This resin bath contains a chemical cocktail worth more per gallon than premium champagne. Every single fiber, all millions of them, must be completely saturated. Miss even one, and the entire bar could fail under stress. The birth moment. Now comes the birth moment. This heated dye is like a mold, but it's doing something incredible. It's not just shaping the material, it's triggering a chemical reaction that turns liquid resin into something harder than concrete. But wait, there's more. While the bar is still hot and soft, another bundle of fibers is being wound around it in a perfect spiral. This creates the ribbed surface that will grip concrete like Velcro. The curing process. This tunnel is 200 feet long. Inside, it's 400 degrees Fahrenheit. The rebar will spend the next hour in here, undergoing a transformation at the molecular level. This isn't just heating, this is molecular engineering. The resin molecules are linking together, forming a three-dimensional network stronger than the sum of its parts. At the end of this journey, a pulling mechanism, like tank treads, grabs the finished bar and pulls it through the entire process at exactly the right speed. Too fast, and the resin doesn't cure properly. Too slow, and the whole system backs up. Finally, an automatic saw cuts the endless bar into standard lengths. Each cut is timed to the millisecond, synchronized with the pulling speed. The shocking comparison. Now here's what's going to shock you. This fiberglass bar weighs one-fourth as much as steel, but it's twice as strong in tension. A truck that can carry 10 tons of steel rebar can carry 40 tons of fiberglass rebar. That's four times the material in one trip. Two workers can carry what used to require a crane. Construction sites are becoming faster, safer, more efficient. But here's the real kicker. After 50 years in seawater, the most corrosive environment on Earth. Fiberglass rebar looks exactly the same as the day it was made. Steel rebar? It's completely destroyed in just five years. The market explosion. The fiberglass rebar market is exploding from $900 million in 2024 to a projected $2.1 billion by 2034. That's $2.1 billion. 8.8% growth every single year. Major infrastructure projects are quietly switching. Bridges in Florida, tunnels in New York, parking garages in California. They're all using this technology. Yes, it costs 20 to 30% more upfront, but over the lifetime of a structure, it's actually cheaper. No rust means no repairs. No repairs means massive savings. And here's something the steel industry doesn't want you to know. Producing fiberglass rebar generates 75% less CO2 than steel production. The future vision. Imagine construction sites where workers aren't struggling with heavy materials, where buildings last 100 years instead of 50, where bridges don't need constant repair, New manufacturing facilities are being built right now. Advanced pultrusion technology, ultrasonic resin impregnation, precision ribbing systems. Engineers are adding basalt fibers for even greater strength. UV inhibitors for outdoor applications. Fire retardants for safety critical structures. Countries around the world are updating their building codes. Japan leads with earthquake resistant structures. Europe mandates it for coastal construction. The Middle East uses it for desert durability. The resistance. But the $1 trillion steel industry isn't going down without a fight. They're lobbying governments, spreading fear about new technology. 
protecting their market share. Many contractors stick with steel because that's how we've always done it. They're afraid of change, even when that change could save them millions. Building codes written 50 years ago still favor steel. Updating them requires years of testing, documentation, and bureaucratic approval. The tipping point. But reality is forcing change. When the I-35W bridge collapsed in Minneapolis, killing 13 people, investigators found extensive corrosion in the steel structure. When parking garages start crumbling after just 20 years, instead of 50, owners start asking questions. Insurance companies are starting to offer lower rates for buildings using corrosion-resistant materials. The $1.2 trillion Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act specifically mentions advanced materials and corrosion resistance. The Call to Action The revolution is happening whether the old guard likes it or not. Smart contractors are getting ahead of the curve. Forward-thinking engineers are specifying fiberglass rebar for critical projects. In 10 years, we'll look back at steel rebar the way we look at asbestos insulation today as an outdated technology that we can't believe we used for so long. The question isn't whether this technology will take over. The question is, will you be ahead of the curve or will you be left behind? If you're in construction, engineering, or architecture, you need to understand this technology now because your competitors already do. What do you think? Are you ready for the post-steel future? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more industry secrets that could change everything.